What's up guys? Switching it up today. No bass fishing, no cat fishing. Going for the brim. But I'm gonna make it challenging because it's too easy to come out here to the bayou and catch brim. Today, I'm going to fish with things that I can find in the water. What I mean by that is, I'm gonna find bobbers. I forgot my crickets. I'm gonna find bobbers. I'm gonna find a fishing pole. I'm gonna find weights. Everything except for probably not gonna be able to find a hook. And I have crickets. So let's get down to the boat. I've already got it in the water. See how it goes. All right, so now I'm gonna try to find a bobber, a cork, whatever you wanna call it. And uh, hopefully it's still got some line on it because I'll even use the line that I find if it's on the cork. We see broken rods on the banks all the time. Hopefully I find an old cable or a buster rod or some sort. And uh, we've been talking about doing this for a long time, just trying to find everything use it and go fish. The only thing I'm cheap with is my crickets. So worst case scenario, I've got quite a few backup rods, but we're gonna do everything we can to not have to use that. Just like that, I came up on this cork. And it does have line. It is super tangled up. Somebody's fishing this thing with braid. Oh. That broke it. That one's no good. Got another cork. Well, we got a cork. Now we just need to find a pole. That's probably what I'm gonna use as a cork and a pole. I've got some string. We'll see how that works. All right, so finding a pole of course, now the one time that I'm actually looking for a broken pole or something that somebody just threw in the water, the one time I'm actually looking for one and gonna try to use one, I cannot find one. But um, probably gonna end up breaking off a stick or using some sort of a stick and seeing if we can do it with that. So I'm just gonna give it probably 10 more minutes looking for something else, but if worse comes to worse, we'll see what we can find. So I need something green since I can't find a real pole. So I think I found my, my fishing pole for the day. I'll tear this down, take the leaves off of it, and we're gonna go fish. She ain't pretty, but she's sturdy and green and got some flexibility to her. I think this is my new best friend for the day. Time to rig it up. See if we can catch something on it. All right, so I got it rigged up. This is definitely not the best stick I could have found for this got like a major bow in it but we got the bobber we found we got the pole we found I did use a hook that I brought and cricket that I brought but this is still gonna be fun we're right here at the spot so I'm about to troll us on in so we were in here the same spot about a week ago we caught a bunch of brim right here in this brush pile. So that's where I'm gonna start. I definitely don't like this setup. 
but I was too impatient. I didn't want to keep looking for a good stick, so we're going to go with what we've got. So here it is, the first cast on the rig. Got to get it in there first. And there he is. <laughs> oh, it worked. <clears throat> A lot smaller than what we're trying to catch, but hey, that was freaking fun. Now I know I can survive. If I'm ever stranded on Darbon Bayou in my Skeeter full of gas and my truck right up the road, but if I just had to, I could survive. Let's keep going. That's a little bit better there. He's not a giant, but for a stick and a bobber that was found out here, that'll make it fun real quick. A little bluegill. That is a beautiful sun perch. Look at the color of his eyes, red, and the blue and the orange, beautiful fish. It's been really crazy how much they're biting, but how much harder it is to even set the hook on a brim with this pole. It's too heavy. You can't feel them bite. You're literally just watching the bobber, and by the time you set the hook, it's like they've already let it out of their mouth. But it's super fun. Anytime you can come somewhere where it's just like every cast you're getting a bite, there's not much better. Not catching anything big, but... Um, Still so much fun. 10 minutes from the house, two minute boat ride from the boat launch. Just gotta get out here and, and do it and enjoy the outdoors and being outside, and fight the heat. It's so hot, it's like almost eight o'clock right now, 7.30, and it's still probably 85 out here. I'm soaking wet and sweat, but I love it. It's, it's so much fun. There's the motor. I've seen a bunch of little bitty ones today, which is completely different than the other day, last week. We are catching nothing but hand-sized brim. So I'm not real sure what the difference is today. The water has dropped a little bit. Isn't that a pretty little fish? It's a beautiful fish. Now there is a better fish. Pulled him right in the boat. Yikes. That's a decent sized brim there. He took it straight down. That one is a, just about big enough to keep. Lucky for him, I'm throwing them all back today. Really? He's tiny. 
I don't even know how he got the hook in his mouth. All right. It's getting right before dark. I've had some fun with this. I hope it's been mildly entertaining. But uh, it's time to do a little bass fishing, honestly. Uh, came out here with every intention to brim fish nonstop until dark but I'm catching nothing but little bitty brim almost every single cast. So it's too nice of weather out here right now to not try the bass. So I'm about to take the line off of this rod and ditch the fishing pole. It's time to bring out the big boys. you guys we gave it fighting chance caught a bunch of brim that was a lot of fun i think i can definitely say i'm glad i got that out of my system thinking how cool it would be to find a stick and a bobber and bring some crickets and say you caught them on a fishing stick whenever i've got 20 rods in the boat could have caught some bigger ones could have caught a lot more Missed way too many. We had a blast. It was a good time. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Something a little different. Kind of entertaining. Hope you were half as entertained as I was. But it is hot. My wife has got a warm meal sitting on the table for me right now. And ice cold sweet tea. So I'm headed to the house. We'll catch you all on the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Y'all have a good one.